You read the title correctly, man. It's time for me to come clean. I'm no longer with Vic Firth. So, let me tell y'all what had happened. Now let me first of all just squash any kind of speculation or conspiracy theories or anything like that. There was no animosity, there was no hard feelings, there was nothing like that. I ended up leaving Vic Firth after lots and lots of thought and contemplation and second guessing and all that kind of stuff. I've been with Vic for about five years, five or six years. Um, so it took me a long bit to, uh, to finally come to the decision, but it was a personal decision. And I feel good about it. Change is good. So since back in like March or April or so, around that time, I've sort of been in the market for my next pair of sticks because it was time for me to place another order. I've been getting low. And I've been using the 5A barrel and the 5B barrel for a while now. Those have been sort of my two main pairs of sticks. Um, as you guys know, I've really been sort of making the transition to full-time traditional grip. So since then, my, my needs for a particular size and feel have changed. So as you guys know, a 5A stick is around 0.565 inches in diameter, um, and a 5B is 0.595, roughly, in and around there. So it got to the point where I, I, I was kind of looking for something in between those two. So like an 85A, for instance. 85A is around 0.580. So I was looking for a stick around that weight and that type of feel. There were a couple of Vic sticks that I was considering, the 85A for one, the, um, the George Kalias signature model was another one I was looking at. The, uh, the Matt Garska stick just came out, and that's around that same sort of weight, like around the 580 mark. But I wasn't too particularly excited about any of those sticks, to be honest with you. So, you know, I just kept using what I was using and making do. And then one particular day, something very significant happened, changed the whole game for me. Now you guys remember, a couple of months ago, I, um, I went to D'Addario to pick up that red hydraulic head. Remember that day? Well, while I was there, I was talking to my friend, Larry. He had some, some sticks on his desk. And I didn't even really tell him I was looking for anything at the time. He just handed me a couple of pairs of sticks. And as soon as I took this one particular stick out of the, out of the the sleeve was love at first stick. So the exact stick in particular that he handed me that day was the Promark Rebound 5B Fire Grain stick. And like I said, as soon as I took it out of the sleeve and held it in my hand, like I could not believe how perfect this stick felt. So he just said, check these sticks out and, uh, and just play with them for a little bit and see what you think. So it just so happened that I had a gig that weekend and uh, it was a funk, R&B type thing. And let me just say, man, like for the longest time, although I was using the 5B barrel stick from, uh, from Vic, I still had to sort of adjust to it just because of the, the way that this particular stick is balanced. I was able to groove with it just fine, but I had to sort of sacrifice a little bit of finesse. It's been the same case with almost every other 5B that I've used. They're great for just meat and potatoes slamming for me, but I've never actually been able to play with any type of finesse with a 5B stick before. So while we were just sort of chilling in his office and hanging out and talking, he started to educate me a little bit on the whole idea behind select balance and the, and the whole Promark select balance concept with, uh, with a few of the models that they have. 
And the idea is actually really cool. So basically they give us two options as far as the weight and feel of the stick. So there's a forward balance and there's a rebound balance. Forward balance concentrates the weight more towards the front of the stick for that sort of heavier feel. You know, rock players and heavier players in general kind of like that meteor sort of feel at the, at the end of the stick because it just feels like you get more power. Rebound balance focuses the weight more towards the end of the stick. The magic behind this whole thing is the taper. So it actually starts to slim out a little bit longer towards the tip of the stick. And that completely explained why these sticks felt so much better than the ones I was using. Like I said, I've never been able to play with any type of finesse before with a 5B stick. But I found myself, like when I went home and started using them, I couldn't put them down. Like I just, I was practicing and just flying around the drums with these five Bs. So right away, I was, I was completely intrigued by the whole select balance thing. Then there was the fire grain concept. Now I don't know if you guys know about the whole idea behind the fire grain, but basically with the fire grain sticks, they're heat treated. So the same process that they put through baseball bats, axe handles, things like that. These things are sort of bathed in fire. They go through this tunnel, this sort of blue flame fire tunnel, and it heat treats the wood and makes it a little bit stronger. Now let me show you these sticks. These are the exact same ones that I was given back at the end of June. It's now September. I've been using these almost every day. These and the five A's. This is what they look like almost two full months later. And I've been using them in church every weekend, the odd gig, and I've been practicing with them almost every day since I picked them up. These are the five, um, five B's. These are the five A's. This is what they look like. So as you can see, that's really not bad for the amount of use that they've gotten so far. As a matter of fact, it's actually pretty amazing. I mean, if you look at this one, if you can sort of see that, this one has a little bit more sort of fraying in the middle because this, I guess this is the one that I normally crack my rim shots with. But this one, I mean, look at this. It's crazy. So anyways, man, it finally got to a point where I just, I had a lot of thinking to do. Because at this point now, I am officially cheating on the company that I'm supposed to be representing. And it's really not fair to anybody. And it started to get a little bit harder to avoid being seen playing this stick everywhere I go. So I just, I came to the point where it's like, all right, I'm just gonna rip off the Band-Aid, email Vic Firth, thank them sincerely for the opportunity to be, uh, to be part of their roster for the last five or six years or so, and just cut ties. I just cut the ties with them. So as of about a week and a couple of days ago, I am officially with Promark. And I tell you what, I could not be more excited about it. I have a really, really super relationship with the Dario Canada up here. And I'm looking forward to further developing a relationship with the main office in the US. And yeah, man, they're excited. I'm excited. Change is good. Change is good. Change is inspiring. And switching to Promark is the inspiration that I needed. So you can definitely look forward to some feature product videos in the future on their fire grain stuff, their active grip sticks, or some that I'm using as well. Those are really cool. I have a wide assortment of Promark products here that, um, that I'm excited to tell you about. Click that link in the uh, description box. There's a couple of links I'm gonna actually leave in there. Videos you can check out more about the company and find out what they're doing. 
Innovation is really important to D'Addario in general. These guys are doing things with sticks that nobody else is doing right now. So that's it, man. That's the whole story. Shout out to D'Addario. Shout out to Promark. Shout out to Vic Firth. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe. See you in the next one.